Everybody. Welcome to another Whiskey Wednesday here at Argonaut. I'm joined by Justin today. Josh is okay. out of town over the weekend. Yep. Pebble Beach. Yeah. Hate you. Lucky him. Uh, so, anyways, we got a fun theme for you today. Uh, it is dry January. Um, not the biggest fan of that, I guess, being a liquor store. Right. But hey, uh, we're going to run with it. Um, so, like a lot of us, you know, it was a monsoon season in uh, November and December. So, you know, whether you're doing dry January or damp January, whatever, yeah. taking a couple of days off, we've got some options for you. Um, so a couple of fun things we're doing with uh, Heineken 00 and Corona NA is uh, Heineken is giving away a weight set. Um, if you walk in the front of the store, scan a QR code, yeah. um, you can do that. And then uh, Corona is giving away a Ninja Blender. Oh, so, that's yeah. I just know that one. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, jump in. Yeah, um, so starting off, we're going to try hop water. David and I are each going to pick a flavor. Uh, this is something new that we just brought in. Uh, it's made with some hops. It's just a sparkling water, um, totally non-alcoholic, uh, with L-theanine, I think is how we decided it's pronounced. And ashwagandha. So the purpose of this, I guess the L-theanine is supposed to uh, increase blood flow. I mean, I'm not a doctor or anything, yeah. but it, it's a mood enhancer. And then ashwagandha is supposed to be... Uh, you know, chilly out. So it's it's yeah. kind of a substitute for drinking in general. If you still want to yeah. the party, yeah, I don't know, but uh, uh, it's supposed to help you relax. Yeah, I uh, heard good reviews of it so far since we brought it in. So give you a shot. All right. So I got the blood orange, and I'm trying the mango. It's really good. It's not super, you know, fruit forward blood orange. Um, doesn't taste sugary at all, but. It's quite yeah. tasty. I, you know, I'd be interested to try a couple of them and see if the the actual effects happen. But yeah, um, definitely, it's it's uh, pretty delicious. Yeah, like you said, not not overly sweet, uh, not too hop forward either. For anybody that's worrying about it being like extra hoppy, like a IPA or anything yeah. like that. No, um, just kind of a refreshing yeah. little drink. I would even say the name's a little misleading. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you also got a uh, peach, uh, the lime, and the classic. Uh, and yeah, we sell them by the single can up front for $1.99 if you just want to try it. Also yep. by the six pack for $10.99. Um, so next up, we got some NA beers. Uh, we're going to try Athletic. It's one of our most popular ones lately. Yeah. And I've tried some Athletic stuff before. Always been impressed with them. And just the craft NA beer market in general has gotten leagues better than when it first came out. Absolutely. Like eight or ten years ago. So I got the Golden ups, Upside Dawn. Yeah, and I've got the Free Wave Hazy IPA. So this is for uh, hop heads. If you put that in front of me and told me it was just a regular beer, I'd, yeah. I would never know the difference. 100% served in a glass. I wouldn't know it wasn't beer until I had four or five of them and wasn't feeling anything. <laughs> well, it does have 0.5% alcohol in it just just in case we're saying yeah. the only one only beer on the table that's completely uh zero zero is the heineken zero zero yeah the rest of these do have or not the hop waters but the rest of the beer does have 0.5 just so yeah i'm misleading anybody that's yeah. completely in a yeah but those are, those are delicious yeah um, i like i said i've always been a really big fan of these um since i first tried them really good substitute if you just if yeah. you want the taste and not the buzz great choices yeah uh so Moving on. So we do have NA Spirits. Uh, we were going to actually try this today and make a Manhattan out of it because we have vermouth, uh, bitters, and, you know, the spiritless Kentucky yeah. uh, whiskey, basically. But it's so popular right now, it's on back order. Uh, we should be getting it in soon. Yeah. Uh, but I've yeah. heard this is pretty good. I was looking yeah. forward to trying it. Yeah, but, yeah, like David said, when we get some back in, we also have a new vermouth, NA vermouth that we brought in. Uh, if you want to go strictly NA, bitters does have alcohol, but use such a small amount of it, it's amounts to basically nothing. Yeah. If just in case you're strict, once again. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, in lieu of that, we've got the. Um, we uh, also wanted to feature. They do have the Jalisco, which is a tequila uh, spiritless as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, that their line's branching out. Yeah. Pretty well. But uh, for today, what we're going to be trying is the uh, 
old fashioned. Yep. So they're pre mixed mocktail of an old fashioned. And I'm excited to try this because I'm an old fashioned guy. It's my go to cocktail at home. So this is just easy. Just pour it on ice. Yeah, he smelled the orange on it. <laughs> ah, I wonder what they use. It's not off putting smell, but like the bubbles. Yeah. That's really good. Tastes yeah. Tastes kind of like a, I don't know, a little bit Coca Cola, but um, yeah, it does. Right. Taste, you get the the uh, orange and cherry for sure. Yeah, orange cherry. You get like not as pronounced of a bourbon flavor as you would get in a regular old fashioned. Obviously, no alcohol. No, but but it's easy drinking. It tastes really good. Yeah. No, I mean you know, and if you're just wanting to have something to to join the party, but yeah, you know, trying to be a little bit more responsible, I guess. Yeah. This is the great substitute. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we have four packs, I believe. Um, they have a tequila one and then something else, but they have a couple yeah. of different flavors. Yeah. Um, yeah, we should have a couple at least of all the uh, pre-made cocktails. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, moving on to those of you who don't care about dry January or <laughs> just yeah. want something fun to grab uh, for whenever you're drinking again. Um, we have a screaming deal on Bullet Manhattan Cocktail. It's a 750, comes in at 37.5% pre-made yeah. Manhattan, um, and it's $9.99. Yeah, so, like how we got that deal, I don't know, but yeah. I'm not going to complain. And... Um, and then also, you know, our giveaway this month, or our drawing this month is going to be for uh, Old Forester Birthday Bourbon. Yep. Uh, and this will get you extra entries in for that. Um, so let's give that a shot. Now that smells like a Manhattan. Yes, it does. You can't beat that for ten bucks. No, no way. Like that's a great cocktail for. That's fantastic. That's ten bucks for seven or eight cocktails. Like yeah, not gonna beat and, and that. Strong too. Thirty yeah. seven and thirty seven and a half percent. Yeah. So, well, anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed all this. Uh, come down, come see us. Stride January. We still want to see your smiling faces. Yep. Um, so yeah, come on down to Argonaut and give all these options a try and cheers. Cheers.